What's your take on Luke Shaw, who to me is coming <clears throat> through this thing very well? Very well indeed. I saw him speaking the other night. He's coming over very confidently. He's enjoying the experience. And yet whenever you think of Luke Shaw, I cast my mind back to what Mourinho once said about when he was at Manchester United. Is this has this guy gone on to another another stage? Has he taken his own career uh, onto another level? Well, I think he has, but that's just on the domestic performances for Manchester United this season. I've been a huge fan of his this season. I think he's been powerful. He's affected the final third down that left-hand side. He's defended well. He's adaptable. He's, I think he's played uh, left central defender at times for Manchester United. Or if he hasn't, he has got the ability to do that. He's great in one-on-one -on -one situations, defending uh, individual battles. And I think he's just got himself where he needs to be from a fitness point of view. He's obviously worked really hard because he, he, he is a little bit like me where you'd carry a little bit more weight. So you'd have to work harder to get that down and to get that at your fighting weight. Mm. But I think he's done that and the performances have followed. He's, he's grown in confidence and it's not surprised me at all, his performances uh, in the Euros. I weren't sure before the Euros started because of Ben Chilwell winning the Champions League, whether he would go, yeah. with, whether Gareth would go with that. He's gone with Luke, obviously what he's seen from training and obviously the season as well. And he's not let anybody down. He's, uh, and actually, he's probably superseded because in the final third, he's created goals in key moments of games. And uh, yeah, I, th I thought his, uh, his displays and his performances have been exceptional. I was thinking, Simon, mm. uh, 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 curiously, does Mourinho deserve any credit oh, for the resurgence of Luke Shaw? Um, I think someone is a sum of all their parts. And I think the experiences that he had with Mourinho would have engendered certain responses from him. I think you have to look at Luke Shaw on the journey that he's been at Man United. Man United don't tend, as a rule, there's exceptions to everything, to sign bad players. And they don't tend to sign young players at the age they signed Luke Shaw for at 30 million quid when they bought him. And 30 million quid for a left back at that time would have been a lot of money and get bad decisions. But there were t two things that, 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 that challenged Luke Shaw. One, injury. And two, his approach. And I think Mourinho called out his approach, didn't like the manner in which he was yeah. applying himself, yes. and was very robust about it. And it's part of the journey. Can you say that Mourinho is, you know what it is, success has many fathers and failure is an orphan, right? And, and he will attribute some of the success that Luke Shaw's got to his hard love direction and calling him out. And I think he's right to do so. But ultimately, all of the credit for where Luke Shaw is now, physically, mentally and logistically is down to Luke Shaw yeah. overcoming rather than succumbing to the challenges that he's had. Well, it's such a good point that Trevor made because when you... you really? Th when you think back... <laughs> stay with me with this, Trevor. When you think back to the Champions League final, I looked at Chilwell and I thought, by God, mm -hmm. it, you know, he... What a game he is playing at the moment sure. in the blue shirt at Chelsea. And, and then I thought, England, Euros, just round the corner, Chilwell could be a star here. But Shaw has emerged as a yeah, star. Yeah, but Shaw, Shaw, but Shaw has been outstanding all season for Manchester United. Yeah, it yeah. hasn't just been Chilwell. It's been Shaw's been outstanding. And if you look yeah, at Southgate's, yeah. and I'm not just going to keep going down the route of saying that Southgate is the, is now the best thing since sliced bread because I still have my reservations about him. He's doing fabulously well. And if he wins his tournament, those res reservations will diminish even further. Yeah. But he's picked South. He's picked Shaw to play with Sterling and look at the way that they're playing together. Look at the interchangeability, but look at how they're reading one another's moves and the way they're playing off one another. Yeah. You have to give Luke Shaw a hell of a lot. Of ben Chilwell can count himself unlucky, but Luke Shaw has more than earned that spot and has more than cemented himself currently in that position. Yeah. Well, was sliced bread ever the best thing? As far as I'm concerned, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think especially if you're question. Mr. War Button. I think, I think, yes, exactly. I think you look at the chemistry within the side as well and you look at... When you, when Gareth came in, he promised us he was going to play players off form. Now, Shaw's been playing well, or should I call him Shaw being ill Carlos, because that's his nickname. But you look at the chemistry in that squad and everyone seems to get on. So there's certain players that have missed out on this squad and you think, oh, he's, he, he's been harshly dealt by. Mm. But Gareth knows them all. Yeah. And he's picked the players that are going to get Who's on. Who's been harshly dealt by, do you think? Um... Trent Alexander Arnold is is obviously a, a great right back. Yeah, um, but he was injured, so that doesn't count, does it? Yeah, and he had him in his squad. Yeah, I mean, listen, there is. Do you think Foden being dropped out of the mix has been a little bit on the receiving end of what perhaps should have been his opportunity and not because other people have stepped in? Yeah, but I think form against reputation again. You know, yeah. I think even Grealish to a certain extent. Yeah. A lot of people, even Mourinho, is saying Grealish is the one and this that. He stuck to his guns. He stuck to what he believes in. And you look at. The squad now, and you look at Phillips and Rice keeping 
Henderson out. Yes. No yeah. one would have thought that. No. But he stuck true to his principles and his promise when he took over the job and played players on form. They've got the opportunity. They've played well and he's not dropped them. And I think you have to give credit he, to Gareth Southgate. In fairness, without being trying to be an argue, argumentative with you, I mean, it's very difficult to play Henderson because he hasn't played competitively for four months. So it made it slightly easier for Gareth yeah, to I agree. type. And yeah, put... but I mean, the point that Trevor made, would you have thought, Simon, that Calvin Phillips might well emerge as the star player of England if they get right through the lot? No, but, but the, the player himself has done that by A, forcing a selection because the other opportunities weren't there because Henderson wasn't fit. He's taken the opportunity, availed himself of the opportunity that's been given to him and yeah. forced Gareth's hand. And but, Exactly. But a weaker manager, because he's got a great relationship with, with Henderson, Henderson yeah. what happened yeah. in 2018, might have thought, right, you've done well, but that, but, but that, would, be, but that, would, wrong, that would be wrong and disrupt the squad because the squad would look at it and go, hang on a second, doesn't matter what I do, you lose pitch, players, I'm not going to play. You yeah. lose players. Mm. And actually, his performance in the opening game against Croatia was so integral to sure. how successful England were in that win. I think, it, 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 like you said, he's, made, his, he's yeah. made his own, made, made his own it's decision. It's getting closer. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.